All right, doing a review today. Uh, this is one of those antenna tuners, ATU-100. Uh, and um, I've uh, done one of these before. Um, I'll try to remember to link it in below, but um, you can buy these in kit form and uh, make them your own, okay? So it comes with a PC board with all of the uh, components loaded on, all the surface mount components loaded on it, and you have to put in all of the through-hole components. You have to wind the toroids and, stu and stuff like that. So I'll link that in down below. Um, this product is based off of the same uh, design, and, and so, but it, it comes pre-assembled and comes in the box and it's battery powered. And so um, if you buy a kit like this, you have to do all that work yourself. Um, whereas this is a final product, you're ready to go. So if you're not into kit building, uh, this is the one you want to buy. It also comes with the display already attached and everything. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, if you've never seen one of these, there's a little, uh, there's a little display here and it displays SWR um, and things like that. Um, it's a regular antenna tuner, you know, input, output. Um, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go through that, but uh, let's first take a, look at, uh, take a look at this thing. It was donated to the channel by this company, uh, uh, Jun Tung, and uh, they've sent in quite a few things into the channel now, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing and, and see uh, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. Okay, first of all, we have to look at the functionality. Um, it has a uh, type C uh, connector on the front and that's for charging the battery. So yeah, it's battery powered, which is nice. Um, so a lot of times these little uh, things are good for portable use, right? And so you take your battery powered radio and your battery powered antenna tuner and head off to the fields, you're ready to go. Um, it has a uh, uh, on off switch. Now, I don't like the orientation of the on off switch. I like on in the up position, but oh, whatever. That's just kind of me. Um, there's an LED that tells you if you are uh, charging. Um, there's a button here that's a manual tune. It's an automatic tune. If it sees a bad SWR, it tries to tune itself, but there's a button here that allows it to uh, tune. Pretty nice big button. Um, and like I said, a uh, little, uh, little OLED display here um, gives you uh, even the inductance and capacitance of whatever you're trying to match. Um, I believe these antenna tuners are uh, good up to 100, uh, 100 watts, um, although I think most people are using them QRP. It says on it uh, 1.8 to 55 megahertz. Um, let's take a look at the... Uh, Take a look at the back. It's, not, it's got the big uh, PL259 connectors on the back. All right, so build quality. Um, it's a nice uh, metal case, so a real, real rugged uh, metal case. The front and back are PC board uh, material. Um, these connectors, uh, the, the, the nuts on them were loose when I got it, so I tightened them down. So that was kind of, that was kind of, uh, 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 kind of an overlook on their part. Um, the other thing I didn't like about it was the uh, protective plastic was over the uh, over the display, and um, at first I thought, oh, that's going to be really hard to take off because it's kind of underneath there, but it wasn't. I reached in there with some tweezers and grabbed it, pulled it off. So um, is that bad or good? Well, it's good that it was in there when it was protected during shipping and stuff. It's just uh, it was a little pain to re to remove it, but that, that that's very very minor. Um, my biggest complaint was on the inside. <laughs> Um, so I'll show you some pictures here. Uh, I opened it up. So uh, the, the 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 side with the connectors is okay. Uh, that that's pretty cool. They had um, these connectors actually had coaxes attached to them, and those were attached to the board. So I thought that was really good. Um, that was actually a good attention to detail on that side. <laughs> but on the uh, front panel side, whatever PC board layout they had going for them, it wasn't compatible with the OLEDs they, they had. And so they had to do some cuts and jumps, a uh, little some bodge wiring on the, uh, on the, on the uh, LCD to, or uh, the OLED to, to make that work. So that, <laughs> that was pretty ugly looking. And then uh, everything's kind of jammed into this thing and, and sort of glued in place. The battery's just kind of stuck in there with glue. So construction quality isn't the greatest, um, but uh, uh, cer certainly functional, all right, certainly functional. So um, I'm not going to go uh, over this thing in uh, in operation. I think everybody and their brother has has showed one of these on YouTube before. And uh, uh, like I said, if you're not familiar with these things, they are um, 
a bunch of relays. And so they have a bunch of capacitors uh, to choose from. Uh, 10 picofarad, 22, 47, 100, 220, 470, 1 nanofarad. So they have a bunch of capacitors and then a bunch of inductors. So they'll choose an inductor and then they'll run through the list of capacitors and they'll choose an inductor and they'll run through all the capacitors. And they'll keep doing that until they find an SWR um, that's reasonable. And uh, this is the bridge over here. So it's a pretty simple uh, simple algorithm. I don't know what kind of sort search algorithm they have to do that. But anyway, you choose an inductor, you choose a capacitor and, and uh, and that's the way you that's the way you get a good match. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what they're charging for these things, but uh, like I said, uh, from the outside, it's it's a very very nice build quality. My only complaint would be a little bit on the inside.